Hey guys, welcome back to Warhammer Tacticals. So in today's video we're going to make an opening for of 20 requisition drops. So this is the recording which I have made without ability to record my voice previously. So right now we will just comment and I will just pretend that I do not know what um, stuff I have got from 20 opposition uh, from 20 openings with 10 requisition drops each so as you can see I have 204 requisition drops and I opened 20 of them so um, maybe the most important information for you is is the buying requisition drops worth the value uh, we receive because the opening of uh, 10 requisition drops is worth about 25 uh, dollars so this is not small amount mm, and in my opinion basically the stuff you get from the opening requisition drops is uh, not not valuable at all for the players uh, especially if you are able probably to to gain like 10 or 15 requisition drops maybe 15 uh, during one month of playing so it means that 200 requisition drops is something what you can get after playing uh, one year so in my opinion mm, the value of the requisition drops I mean the characters you get is uh, it's actually very very small and the prices are not that good but let's go to the opening let's go back this is my personal feeling so we get 10 Anupet shards we've got 5 Kalgar I wanted to go obtain 500 uh, Pestilian which is completely useless character in the game okay we got Ariak which is just fine Volk also fine but 10 shards doesn't make a huge difference uh, I mainly regret getting sh shards of uh, orbs for the epic or I'm oh, sorry for the rare mm, wait we make make we have to stop here uh, I mainly regret that we can get from the requisition uh, drops we can get common uncommon and rare orbs which are basically um, not useful and I think most of the players do not need them at that stage they are useful only in the first month or first two months of playing the game later they are not that cool but uh, from this, from the second opening, as you can see, I managed to get the Rodbone for the fir for the second or even a third time. Uh, I think maybe third time. So we get 250 Rodbone shards, which is nice. So I have to admit that the second opening was not that bad. So the third opening, we receive Alepnol, five shards, Rosvita, ten shards, another as well, five shards. Let's go for it. Five shards of Neuroforp. Uh, now we get an another Pestilian, which is one of the worst characters. Another Aliak shards. Five shards is it's not enough uh, to make me satisfied. Okay, ten shards from another acquisition drop, and Jane's are ten shards, and Boss Gulgots, which is already maxed out. But at least we get 225. Uh, it's not that bad to obtain the shards of the characters which you have already maxed out since uh, this is the valuable resource of obtaining the uh, experience books in the game so if I get Gulgard's 250 shards and so I get the 250 value um, pieces valuable valuable pieces which I can spend for experience I, I think that's that's fine until it's 250 or even more like 500 Okay, so third opening or fourth, I don't remember. Certus, of course, the character which is basically useless. Giba Scraps, which is also not that useful. We get Vindicta and Shards, not very good. We've got leg legendary orbs, so that's fine. Anupet 20 Shards, always nice. Some orbs, again, Imperial ones. Another Imperial orbs. Uh, five Shards of the Black Templar. 5 shards of the Pistilian and the last character is Archimatos which is 130, okay, 80 shards so not that cool opening for the five of the chest, the requisition number 5 we've got 10 shards of Kalandis, Gulgords, 10 shards all of the orbs, I think it's not even worth reading Maladus, 10 shards, it's fine but 
who cares. Getting Isabella, pulling Isabella is, is really nice because Isabella is the best healer in the game. What else? 20 shards of Malados. 10 shards of Azrael. And Sibyl Divine as a last character, which basically provides you just 40 shards. So I don't think that this opening was very successful. So we're gonna get Sibyl Divine as a first character. And Grax 5 shards. Mogon Ra 5 shards, sadly, only 5. The Cut Squad and 10 shards. Not cool. Pestilian 10 shards. 20 shards of Rosvita, so this is nice. And we've got Ulf from the Not Guaranteed, so this is very nice. 1000 Suns, 10 shards, another 1000 thousand, thousand Suns, 5 shards. And in the end we got Kalandi, so we can consider this opening was worth 10 requisition drops. I can accept that. 10 Isabella shards, definitely worth 5 shards of Archimatos, not worth at all. Um, I forgot this character, it's fine, but 5 shards. 5 shards is not the price, and because it, to unlock fully one character you need 1250 shards. So 5 shards of one character is 0.2% of what you actually need. So uh, I'm not going to say that something is nice. So we got Angrax and this opening was actually very bad. He must pick 5 shards, which sucks. Uh, Tank Masha 5 shards, which sucks a lot. Uh, Brother Butchard is, is fine, he is useful on the legendary events. 5 shards of Typhus sucks. Uh, Athena, very nice. This is the best characters. And uh, until they will change the, another character from the missions, I think I, will not able, I won't be able to unlock fully Athena, so it was nice. Then of Loga Shards and Tatmos as the last character. Um, I will take it. I will take it since Tatmos provides 130 shards, so it's a lot. You can do something with that. Okay, some Edron Shards. Again, uncommon orbs which are useless. I think epic orbs also useless for me. The most back. Imperial orbs. Rivas, 5 shards, it's not cool. Okay, 10 shards, better. 10 shards of Brother Dragger, I think. And give us Scraps as a last character. So this was the pool number 9. Let's go on the pool number 10. 10 shards of Kalandis, it's fine. 5 shards of Gulgords, not, not, not fine at all. 20 shards of Incius, perfect because we cannot farm here. Uh, Five shards of Shossel uh, sucks. Orbs always sucks, except they are not legendary Xenos or Chaos. Ten shards of Fadius. Ten shards of Shossel. Mm. Zabreka five shards sucks. Rodbone ten shards. And the last opening is Rivas. So by because we pulled out here Rivas and a lot of character shards, which are not that. Uh, Nice, that's a good opening. Okay, we got Vorotigurus, which can be useful on the legendary events, so it's fine, especially that uh, because it was not guaranteed. We pulled some legendary orbs, also nice. Will be useful because I'm missing some of them. 10 shards of uh, Thousand Sun, 10 shards of Sarquel, 10 shards of Yazagor. Of course, some some orbs, and I think this is the last brother brother butchard. So we obtained already 160 shards of brother butchard. It can be, it looks nice, but it's only 160 out of 1,250. So this is like 50% of what I actually need to make him useful. Adrian. Okay, so this opening was very bad. 
except for the Eldrian Witch, made made it better. Uh, let me just. Jainzar, so this is legendary opening, so I just got 500 shards of the Jainzar, so definitely very good opening. I mean, that sucks that Jainzar is such a weak character, for now, maybe he will be useful in future, but it's it's uh, it's worth to get, uh, doesn't matter which legendary character you get, it's worth because it's just a lot of shards, so otherwise you can max out easily character. Or if you have already this character, you can get 500 uh, value for the experience. So we have got very nice opening by the Jainzar. Then Gulgrat shards. Um, then Rivas, okay. Free legendary or rare? I don't. I don't see the difference between rare and legendary. Okay. Then Shasul Shards, 20 Kalandis. So far, the opening is nice. Ariman, 10 Shards. Yazagor, 5 Shards. And Boss Gulgurt, um, that's fine. 250 um, currency of, for the experience books. So for nothing special from this one, yeah. So this opening, like if you were about to pay $25, I would be pissed off for this. Yarik. And inches, like this opening also sucked. I got in common orbs and in total 50 shards. Well, not satisfying for the for a something which makes me collect the requisition drops for like month. Eighty candies shards. Okay, that was nice. And uh, we've got a very good character here. So we've got Vindicta. I one hundred thirty forty uh, plus eighty. So this opening was fine, especially that I'm still missing all the shards of these characters. So like two hundred fifty shards from ten requisition drops. It's good opening. You mainly get about 10 uh, shards from each requisition drop, uh, excluding the orbs. So uh, you, you get like two or one characters, and then you get orbs which are useless. Okay, this opening was also nice. But. Uh, I mean, by saying nice, it's just only nice. Um, the opening which made which which made me happy. I had two openings because I also pulled out one more legendary character. So I got one Jainzar, which is useless, and I also pulled one more character. I don't want to tell you which one, but uh, it was not the one I wanted to get. So. You can just think what kind of character this will be and I think it will appear very soon. Uh, yes, it appeared right now. So I pulled the Creed and I pulled the Jainzar. So out from 20 openings I got twice legendary character. 
So I cannot complain because the chances of obtaining character, legendary character is pretty small. So, but after all, the, the normal player can collect 200 requisition drops during one year of playing, maybe even longer. So, and if we consider that he will buy the, the battle pass so, and play actively and progress in campaigns and make up all of the missions and play all of the arenas. So, if you think that this opening is after collecting one year or all the requisition drops, you could be pissed off. So right now I just uh, just go went to my characters and uh, maxed out the, the characters which I had uh, with orbs. So as you can see, I'm having 50 legendary orbs. So we will definitely promote Rivas since I want to him. I want to have him on Blue Star instead of four red. So we are going forward with with Rivas. Um, what else? We will definitely upgrade Rodbone since he is very useful, he is a very powerful character and I have 117 extra shards which will be transferred to the currency for the Rogue Trader. So we're just checking which characters I get, which shard, what, what shards I get. So we can definitely upgrade Varotigurius since we have over almost 200 legendary Imperial Orbs. Why not? Why not doing that? Definitely Ulf, go ahead, but we are still missing some shards, about 50 shards, yes, 52 shards, to make Ulf useful on the Mortarion. Uh, I upgraded also Castellan Creed, so um, yes, you can see that he will have 20% more health, damage and armor, so why not? I'm, I will still miss 250 shards of Castellan Creed, a little bit less. Okay, sorry, I was wrong. Okay, Imospec, why not? Isabella, of course, going, going, upgraded. Uh, Athena, I think also. And I have Kalandis, and I messed up here because I should have upgraded the Jainzar. And I think I upgraded Kalandis, yes. So I have almost finished the all Eldar units. Brother Butchard, he will be upgraded twice, so we will pull him on the legendary level, level I think. Yes. So Brother Butchard has become a legendary character. Uh, So I have Insius, which has been promoted to the Epic, so right now his higher rank, highest rank can be Gold 1. And Vindicta pulled out to the Legendary level, I st after playing like 15 months on, on ta the, the Tacticals, I still do not see the potential of Vindicta. She has very high damage, but she is also killing his teammates, so I think this is the main reason why people do not, do not decide to upgrade her. I do realize that Thousand Suns got bonus from the uh, fire damage, so probably we will use, we will um, upgrade her in future. But I, I mean, I have like ten other characters which I want to upgrade first. Uh, I was wondering to upgrade Pestilian. I decided to upgrade Pestilian since I do not have any other chaos characters which can be upgraded. So yeah, we also upgraded Neuroforp. Uh, not twice because I'm missing the legendary Xenos orbs, but yes. And we received the Tyrant Guard, so that's fine. And we got Toph, yes. And the Azogor, of course, we pulled the Azogor on the uncommon level, also rare level. And even we can promote him a second time. Now, second time. And we didn't get Kalgar, Helbracht, Nanji, whatever he, he is. So before we end the video, we can just uh, put, pick up the achievement and we can sell all of the stuff we gained here. 
So we can see my staff is uh, 13 and the cool part I really enjoy is the stuff we get here. So I will have over 1000 and this allows me to buy experience books and progress my key characters which has been not yet upgraded faster. So we can buy, I didn't buy it, I think I didn't buy it. I, I was yes. I, I think that the sixty-five shards for that price is definitely not worth. And I suggest, no, come on, don't tell me I buy it. I think that the books are way more valuable. So guys, uh, this is this is it for today. I think I think we will close the um, the opening. So I hope you enjoyed watching my opening, my first video with the opening. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel, follow, leave comments, negative like, like, whatever you feel comfortable with. And actually, see you next time. Bye.